morning adventures. Good morning. From a beautiful day here in Colombia. So lovely. So if you caught our previous episode, we were staying in Medellin for a couple days, or for a few days, mm -hmm. and then we made our way finally outside of the city, which we were super excited about. We came to the town of Guatape, and we're staying in maybe the coolest spot that we've ever stayed before. I, I think it might take number one for being the most unique, most beautiful, and just all around coolest place we have ever stayed. It's called Bosco Glamping, and mm -hmm. it's this series of these little bubble domes that they've built in the hillside here that's overlooking this little channel of water. And if you go high enough up, you can see that there are tons of channels of water like this all over the area, which makes for some insane aerial shots and aerial views. Mm -hmm. There's actually this huge rock face in the middle of the area that when you go up, you can see it from all around, and it just kind of sticks out, and it's like the center point. It's actually what Guatape is known for. Well, the town itself is really beautiful, but going and climbing up this rock is one of the things you have to do when you come out here but now that these little rooms which are actually called mush rooms which Get is it? super adorable now that they're here i think this could be another contender for a reason to come out this way mm. we'll give you guys a proper look inside but first off look at this amazing view there's this huge deck that goes all around our little mushroom and around all of them there are six of these little guys and they have this transparent side so that everyone can see out to the water and they said that they turn them so that you get the sunrise in the morning i woke up for the sunrise it was around 5 45 a.m it was very cloudy though so i decided to just go back to bed <laughs> but maybe if you come it'll be a beautiful sunny sunrise and you can see it can you imagine it coming up over the water there oh. So we've given you a look at this amazing spot from the outside, but the inside is where the magic really is. So let's go take a look in there. Welcome to our amazing mushroom. Look at this place, you guys. It's this beautiful little dome. We have this huge king size bed where we actually had breakfast served to us this morning. We had breakfast in bed. I don't know the last time we did that. It was absolutely delicious. We had an acai bowl, stuffed French toast, and eggs and bacon in this mug. Oh, so good. We also have a little lounge area in the sun. There were some epic thunderstorms last night, and we sat in here and watched them out over the water. It was beautiful. Also, this is where you would see your sunrise from, which is amazing. We also have this little area where you can hang up your belongings so they're not scattered about. There's all sorts of snacks and beverages here of the adult and non-adult variety, whatever you would like. They actually have a restaurant on site. Breakfast is included with your stay, but they also do uh, lunch and dinner. We'll be getting lunch in just a bit, but they give you the menu in both Spanish and English. Very helpful. Even though we're glamping, they have a full working bathroom and they have, you know, your standard toilet, a nice little sink and everything. The coolest part though is for sure the shower. Look at this shower, y'all. You are one with nature out here. And the wasp, I'm gonna come inside because I'm scared of him. <laughs> There's but, also a, a lot of spiders out there too, but they just kind of chill on the sides and yeah, watch you. There are none that go across, they're just in the sides, but they, yeah, they definitely left me alone. The coolest thing about this place is the amount of room that you actually have inside. If they look small from the outside, they're really not small on the inside. They're really grand. The, the ceiling really opens up. It's very cool. So true. I mean, they have a whole king size bed in here. And then you also have all of this space. And then the bathroom is off completely. It's so well thought out. And I love the design style. It's got this kind of brown, white, rustic vibe that they're going for with all these little maps around. It's really cool. It's so cool. Even the light fixtures are really neat. So if you guys are curious how this thing is built, let's check it out. So you can see it's a series of these triangle shapes that they've created with these uh, bars here that are just attached right here by a bolt. And then they put some kind of tarp. I think this is completely custom because you can see little seams that follow the shape of the triangles, but it covers the whole thing. And then if you look up at the top here, this is like a, uh, a vent up at the top. So you get some ventilation up there. And then you also have vents down here. So the idea is that there's, there's a fan over there and you get the air circulating from here over to, uh, to the other side where the other vents are. Behind the scenes look, this is where we put everything to hide it from you guys. <laughs> and the floor is made of these wooden planks, super sturdy, and they filled in all these gaps here. So a lot less chance that the creepy crawlies are gonna get in. 
Yeah, so if you are scared of bugs, there are a few here, but not as many as we thought. Every now and then a fly gets in. We heard a mosquito last night. Yeah, a, dragonfly a little, a little dragonfly just came in and said hello. <laughs> More but adorable they, than anything. Yeah, they usually find their way out. And it's so well constructed with so few holes that hardly anything can get in anyway. So don't worry. So you've seen the inside of our little bubble home, but I feel like we've done enough talking. It's time to eat. Well, it is lunch time. Yes, it is. And like breakfast, we decided to have wow. lunch. Well, not in our room, outside of our room. Look at this. Is, is this it, insane or what? It's the best lunch view ever, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. Eric got the rosemary chicken. I got the rump steak with a peppery grape sauce. It looks amazing, smells even better. We got, we were told, the last two souls yes. before yeah, they get their next shipment. Order beer and wine here and they'll send it right to your room. Tequila, it's rum, amazing. whatever you need, they got you. You can eat pretty much any way you want. If you want them to bring it out on the deck, put it on the bed, put it on the table inside. Mm -hmm. If you want to go eat in the common area, we're going to dig into this. But then after that, we are going to head right over there into that blue water that you see behind us. And I think we're going to do some kayaking or canoeing or something. We're going to try at we're least. We're going to try our best. <laughs> Chicken looks really nice. It's got some nice little grill marks on it. It cut absolutely with no effort, which is a good sign. Let's give it a try. Mm, 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 mm. That is really good. That's a, that is a good piece of chicken yeah? right there. Yeah, I gotta be honest with y'all. That was so much better than I was expecting. It's really salty and juicy and, and buttery and full of flavor. And they have some herbs on there. And then you get the, the taste of the grill from the grill marks, the taste of the fire, you know? That is a really good piece of chicken. But now. I have to try my steak. I don't know why I got a steak for lunch. It just sounded so good in this grape and pepper sauce. I got the salmon last night and it was really yummy. It was also super flavorful. Let's see if this compares. Ooh, it's super tender. It's salty, but it also has this grape pepper sauce on there. So it's sweet, really savory. It's cooked really well and looks a little maybe well done is what I would have thought, but it's still super soft on the inside. So it's pretty much perfect. This is awesome. And we also both got a little salad on mm -hmm. the side. And then check out this little guy that they do. It's mashed potatoes, but then with this layer of burned cheese on the top. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to get into it because when you press it, it explodes over the sides, <laughs> but it is damn tasty. We tried that last night. So. They're so good. We were going to go kayaking, but then the owner offered to let us go out on a speedboat tour of the surrounding area. He said it's the best way to see the water. You excited? Oh, I cannot wait. We're on our way to the boat now. Well, this is cool. They're building another hut down here. Is this another hut? Yes, another. Or another mushroom? Yeah, this is going to be the golden mushroom. Oh, yeah? Ooh. The golden mushroom will be here. We're going to, to have hot tub, Whoa. jacuzzi. All right. When does that open up? 20 days. 20, 20 days? days and this is going to be open? Yes. Wow. All right. Well, when you guys come here and stay there, let us know how it is. That sounds amazing. Well, that was a lot of fun. We got a little wet, a lot of wind in our hair. 
and you can see. <laughs> but that was wild. That was so much more fun than just going out on the kayak or paddle board. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten very far on those things, no, but, but that was just cool. So you know, kayaking and paddle boarding are included in your stay here, so you can take them out whenever you want. They also have this speedboat tour that you can pay for, and you can do in-room massages. Oh yeah. Yeah, if we'd had more time today, we for sure would have done that, but I think this was pretty cool. We saw so many amazing houses. We got to see one of Pablo Escobar's houses, which is crazy, because he said they're gonna be demolishing it pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, soon and building like a- A, a theme, park theme park or something. Yeah. We are back in our awesome mushroom hut, but it started raining, sadly. But it's actually awesome because you get to sit here and watch the rain come in way over there, mm -hmm. and you can hear it hitting the dome. It's actually yeah. stopped for a second, but it keeps going off and on. It was thundering last night. I think we mentioned it earlier, but there was an awesome thunderstorm over the mountains in the distance. So it, it was completely nice and dry here, but you just gotta watch the lightning and listen to the thunder off there. It was so cool. This is where I'm editing right now. It's actually really peaceful just sitting here next yeah. to all this. What is not peaceful though, uh, oh. look what's happened to my computer, you guys. Check this out. So all of a sudden my display just had this big dark streak over here and then the display completely turned off. And I thought I was screwed because yeah. I couldn't get the display to turn on. I was like, we got a vlog to come up tomorrow and I don't have any of my programs on her computer, so I don't know what we're gonna do. But then all of a sudden, miraculously, the display turned on, even though this stuff is still all messed up. But for now, I can use the computer. So that's Boy. a good sign. But I might have to get another new computer pretty uh, soon. We just got you another we did. one. Oh man. The situation is deteriorating real fast. I'm trying to get this video done, but look what I'm dealing with here. Can you believe this? So it started with this, now this has gone black. Now all these lines have slowly appeared. I can still it, use the laptop for now. Oh <laughs> no! This. It looks like like oh somebody is hacking your stuff or something. It's getting worse oh. by the second. No. <laughs> oh no, I'm so screwed. I think I have something that might cheer you up. Oh, cerveza. In just the two minutes since we recorded that last bit, this is what's going on. It hasn't even been two minutes. It's been like 10 okay. seconds. So I saved the video, disconnected the hard drive, and uh, I'm gonna go drown my sorrows. Then look at this, what's going on here? It kind of clears up for a second. We have a proper storm brewing outside. I don't know if you guys can really hear it, but uh, it's getting super windy and it's been lightning and thundering. Poor Eric was sitting here trying to work. I don't know if you guys can see, but we had a little teepee set up outside and it fell against here and Eric jumped and almost flipped the whole table. Yeah, she was really laughing at me because I thought something was attacking us or something. <laughs> It was I don't pretty know dumb. What would pretty you. dumb. The I'm I'm done for the night though, <laughs> you guys, because I've been messing with that laptop for the last couple hours trying to edit that video. It's not yeah. happening. So our dinner is served, y'all. Oh, and the rain let up just in time, so yes. we can talk to you guys. <laughs> I ended up going with the salmon. Mm -hmm. I also got the pork that I was telling you guys oh my gosh, about. It's so good. It comes yeah. in a teriyaki sauce. Mm. And we also got a starter, so they have different starters. We got corn with Parmesan and then I think some like chili lime sauce on top. And then you get dessert with your dinner. Look at these so cute guys. They're so cute, they come in a little pot like that. I think that's gonna do it for today, but we're gonna have, as usual, we'll have links to this place in the description below. Also, this place is on Airbnb and in the description we'll have a little discount code that you guys can use if it's your first time using Airbnb. The discount code, it's like an affiliate code, so mm -hmm. if you use it, we get a discount on our next day, but then you get a discount on your first day. And it's a hefty discount, it's like 40 or 50 bucks. I think 40 USD, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a, a win-win situation, but we love Airbnb. If, the, if you haven't been with our channel for long, that is primarily what we stay in, and that's yeah. what we've been doing for about three and a half years. We love it. We're gonna destroy this. Oh my We're gosh. gonna curl up in that bed over there. Yeah, we have and a, watch movie a movie that we downloaded. It's gonna be a perfect end to this day. Yeah, in our next video, we are going to be exploring Guatape. Yes. And we'll wait till you see this town properly. It's so city. cool. Oh my God. We gave you a little bit of a teaser when yeah. we first arrived. We went and got lunch in a little cafe, but we'll, we'll definitely explore the city more, have some uh, nice local food. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>